everyone. So I have uh, been doing some venturing into the homeschool community and I um, just want to put like a little informational video out for everyone. Uh, this has to do specifically with Inspire Charter Schools and most specifically with the fact that uh, I know some parents didn't know this, but you can actually go to some of their events. They do a lot of events uh, around LA County, uh, Orange County, um, San Diego County. Anyway, and you can actually buy products uh, at the events and take them home like immediately, which is really cool. And I know I've met a lot of parents who didn't know this um, at the events. And so I just wanted to do like a quick little informative video. Um, so this is their form. This is the most up-to-date form that I got my hands on right here. And what you first need to do is you need to put your child's first and last name right up here where it says student name. Then you want to put in uh, your email so that you can get updates on to if from the vendor if they need to mail the product from you, uh, uh, mail the product to you. And, sorry. And then you obviously want to put your first and last name. That's very important as well because sometimes it's easier to look up um, by the parent's name than is the kid's name. So just to let you know what they're going to do there, there's usually uh, what's called enrichment. Enrichment are the people who go ahead and process the orders for you. And they're very helpful. And what they'll do is they'll check your funds to see how much funds you have left because obviously you can't spend money you don't have. Uh, it's very important. And so once you they check it, then you'll be able to purchase things. Now, the company that you're purchasing things from can either put their name right here or you can write it. It doesn't matter who writes it, obviously. But we they just need the vendor's name right here. Uh, usually that's the name of the company, not like the name of the person that you're getting it from. Uh, then we have the actual item section here. And what you want to do is you want to make sure to put the quantity. Um, I personally like to list each item, even if I'm getting two of the same item. I just like to list them individually. But I mean, if you end up getting like two of the same item, you can write two in the quantity. Like it's not going to make a difference. Uh, so you want item one, item two, one of each, right? And then they have a section here that says type of item. So you can put it here like if it's a workbook or a novel or a kit or a subscription box or like whatever it is that you're getting, you can put it right here. Um, consumable is very important. Consumable means that whatever it is that you're buying, that if you have to write in it um, or cut things out of it or use the materials up somehow, then it's a consumable item. So see, I've checked one and not the other because sometimes things come in sets and one of those items is for like your student to read, write, cut up, and you know just have fun with. And that means that that item is no longer usable. They can't give that to any other student. Um, then you're gonna wanna put in the total prices. And, uh, you know, obviously you want to go down here and subtotal that, which is, you know, adding all those together. Um, if there's any shipping now, usually at events, and this is what I really like is that there isn't any shipping. You can just walk away with a product right then and there. And so you're saving a little bit of money on that, um, t sales tax, obviously. And sometimes vendors will give special discounts for events because then, you know, they know that they've sold so many, they're not waiting for orders. So sometimes you'll be able to get a special discount at an event as well. Once you take all of that, you total that up down here. Uh, usually they want you to write the vendor name here as well. Um, but at least if it's not here, then, you know, it, at least it's up here. You know, it's, it's very, very clear. Sometimes parents use one sheet for all of the items they order. And so for that, um, it's a little more difficult. But you want to total that up down here and give your John Hancock, your autograph, whatever you want to call that, your signature, right down here. And so, uh, and then usually at the end of an event, you know, you can take home your, your purchases, your products for your kids and get to using them right away. So I just wanted to go ahead and do that video for everyone, just a little quick informative video. And uh, I hope that helps a lot of parents. That's it. Bye.